Hi guys, today's topic is Excel icon sets. Icon sets are a unique kind of condition formatting in which cells in a certain selection can be labeled with icons based on certain conditions. Let's have a look at that. I have a data over here where I have customers who are paying me every month. There are customers who are paying me good and there are customers who are not paying me good. My future decisions are based on the payments I'm getting from the customers. So I will put some um, traffic lights here and I would like to highlight the customer situation in this cell. So first thing I will do is I will pay, make total and in the total I'll definitely go for sum. So I have a sum of all of the cash that I'm getting. So there are customers who are paying me nothing, there are customers who are paying me marginally and there are customers who are paying me very good. So now I have to give some traffic lights kind of situation here which allows me to go into new business with the customer or not. So for that I'll go to the condition formatting, icon sets and the icon sets I'll go for this traffic light. I've selected the traffic light now you can see it here but it's based on the total percentage so Excel has automatically summed it up make total then on the basis of the percentage um, it's giving or highlighting itself which I don't want rather I'll go and put a rule myself so for that reason you'll have to go and manage rules in the manage rules you find this icon set which I put already you will double click on it or edit rule so when you add a rule, it shows you what is the rule set for. As I said, it's based on the percentage at the moment. So I'll change it to numbers. Now, what I want is uh, that customer who is not paying me at all should be red. That is fine. Customer who's paying me 5,000 or more, that should be yellow. And the customer who's paying me 10,000 or more, that should be green. So if I press OK, apply, and you see now the customer is not paying at all is red. The customers were paying at 5,000 around, they are yellow. And of course, any customer is paying me above 10,000, that is green. So now I don't want to see the total, rather I want to see only the icon sets here. So I will go back to the manage rules. When I click on it, I can see that there is show icons only, you see here. I will select it and I press OK. You see now it's only icons. So I can see only the icons. So now it's easy for me to decide from a future business that if it's green, I can continue without any thinking. If it's yellow, I need to consider some facts before I move on with the new business. And if it's red, stop my business at all. Um, there can be another kind of, um, I'll say, icon set which can be very. Um, nice in such scenarios for example this one so it shows me kind of indicator as well how should i move okay so let's move to the next example where we have some students and uh, the question is that i want to put a full star in front of the exceptional students i want to give a half star to the excellent ones and a star as well to the good ones and for that reason i have to use conditional formatting but remember the conditional formatting goes with the numbers that i can set go with the number so i have to select for example length of this uh, cell and let's see if we have different type of lengths for all these cells um, i can see yes this is kind of different we have four for good nine for excellent 11 for exceptional perfect this is what we want so i'll simply go to conditional formatting um, icon sets and in the icon sets I can see these are the ratings so I'll give these ratings to the boys but I can see that it's again on the basis of the percentage so I'll go and edit the rule once I reach edit rule I will go to the type I'll make it again a number and the students who are kind of four or less they are here you can see so I'll, I'll set it up otherwise so I'll put it greater than four or let's make it greater than 5 should be half star and greater than 10 should be full star so once I select it I apply it I press OK now you can see all the exceptionals have full star excellent have half star and good have star as well so I'll go back and do the same thing with this rule as well I'll go to manage rules I will select it and I will show icons only now it shows me an star in front of the student's performance so if the student's performance has changed from star to good automatically the star will vanish or if it's turned to excellent will automatically uh, excel will give it a half star
So that's how you can put some ratings here as well in front of the student names or depending on your scenario. Let's move to the next one now. We have certain kind of sites where a deployment is going on, for example, of the equipment. So um, a site is getting each equipment uh, every time. So we have 12 equipments here. And wherever the site has less equipment, we have to mark it as uh, incomplete or insufficient for the approval. So the first thing, is, as I told you, we first have to make a, sorry, total. And here I will make a sum of all the equipment. You can see 12. 12 means that all the equipment is deployed. I will take it down here. Now I can see that there is some work completed, some work not completed. Take a situation here with the customers. Um, okay, um, I will remove some of the sites from here as well to make it a little bit easier for us to make some decisions. Okay, now I will select the data. I will go to condition formatting and in the condition formatting, I'll go to icon set. Now in this icon set, I suggest uh, we should move on and we should put some Thing else rather than only the symbols yeah this is this looks good so the sites okay are ticked exclamation sign and not complete at all again I will go back um, to the condition formatting and the condition formatting I'll go to manage rules and here in the manage rules what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the data so whatever is um, less than uh, let's make it numbers again so whatever is uh, greater than I'll say five it should be yellow and whatever is greater than let's say nine that is green so that is fine for us um, even with that much equipment it's fine it's okay um, or rather I make it ten so that would be better so I apply it I'll sorry forget it I'll uh, put the icon sets but later on I will keep the icon sets only now you can see here uh, the sites where we have very less equipment is crossed so no discussion at all the ones we are very close you can see here the sign that is exclamation sign so fine we can discuss about it but green ones are fine so we have 12 11 10 equipment is almost there so that is green again I will go back to the condition of formatting I'll go to manage rules and definitely I'll show icons only just to make sure that we see only the status of the um, site here. So you can see the sites are okay, sites are not okay, whatever. Now you just put in your data and the condition formatting will take the rest of the job. So you have to just set your rule first and then everything will be managed by your um, icon sets. Now let's talk about the direction. So in the direction now we have here overdues and the overdues are good or not let's see is equal to um, divided by total invoices so how much percentage we have here let's see um, so we can see the percentage of the overdues like the overdue percentage in the total invoiced values um, now we want to take uh, we want to see which what is the direction are we improving not improving or what's going on so for that reason we'll select condition formatting we we'll go to icon sets and I will rather select over here this uh, arrows so arrows will give us the direction I will certainly go back again and manage the rules as we did before so now we have here a certain percentage so I will rather set up a rule and the rule is that if if there is like 50 percent kind of movement then it's uh, then it's fine it's normal uh, and anything above um, I'll say um, 60 percent that is that is fine and it's ready to move uh, it's it's going good so I select here I select OK now you can see here whatever is uh, less percentage is down 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 and then it's stable uh, then it's going good but again if it's less it's down so you can set up your benchmarks accordingly and you can give the condition formatting as per your choice and your own criteria so let's move to another one guys uh, just to make you more aware of how you can do it or give it another practice of this so you have certain targets and you have achievements as well 
so let's see what was the target and how much did you achieve so let's say for example divided by this and I will drag it down there um, let's turn it to percentage so how much percentage do you have and as per the percentage I'll go back to the icon sets and I'll select rather this rating and this rating is kind of a little bit different we have quarters here so when I select the quarter it shows me that this 25% is quarter this is this is around 50% this is almost 100% so according to the percentage you can see it shows me how much did I achieve so uh, this is one of the icon sets you can select for your uh, ratings here it's kind of a rating you can also give it a rating with the representation of mobile signals uh, or some boxes but I, I believe this is one of the best ones you can give for the percentage to show your achievements so guys these were multiple um, icon sets and their usage I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned I hope you liked it uh, looking forward to talk to you again guys thank you very much for joining bye bye